is going to be usable so if you saw it that's great if you didn't hello welcome to the vlog we're in Paris with Lancôme this is what I'm wearing we're going to dinner with the Louvre with the Louvre I'm literally shaking guys I don't know why um I think it's adrenaline because we had to just film a campaign very quickly we're about to go for dinner um and we're having a private tour of the Louvre which I really can't believe this is like a once in a lifetime moment also true I just noticed we literally have a view of the Eiffel Tower did you notice that look me oh. standing here, I just saw that tower. She was there. I'm no, sitting in the that. most insane hotel. It's called, is it Brack or Back? Brack? Back. Back. It's Brack. Brack. Brack Paris. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This is my look. The dress is from, I'm going to link it down below. I literally ordered this, guys, because I, we got back from Milan last night. I had to unpack, repack for Paris. I ordered this dress when we were on the plane flying back to London from Milan. I ordered this only just one dress from Les Paul for the same day delivery, like a premier evening delivery. So if this dress came and it didn't fit or it didn't look right, I don't know what I would have worn because today is like such a big event. But it arrived and I think the dress is really beautiful. It's actually a colour that I don't think I've ever worn before. Have I ever worn a colour like this? No, no. first time. I'll put the designer on the screen and I'll link the down below. I know their name, it's just not in my head right now. I'm wearing my Paco bag and then for heels, because you can't see them and because we're having a tour of the Louvre, I've just gone for these, these are like some old Zara clear wedges. So if you get a glimpse of them, you just see like a silver foot, but then it also means that I'll be comfortable and I'll be able to walk. So thinking smart. What do you think true of my outfit? Very nice. Oh, my earrings are from Mango. My hair is not behaving Gorgeous. how I want it to. Oh, can we do a quick test run of take a picture of me then I can see if I need to fix anything? Okay. Like makeup wise. Thank you. I'm obsessed with this dress. Wow. I'm obsessed with this dress. Nimi, you Hi. look so good. You look amazing. Wait, can we get on the vlog? Look at Nimi's dress. Sorry. Oh. Nimi, you have to tell us what you're wearing. You literally look like you've just come off the catwalk. Oh my god, thank you so much. This is perfect. Because we're going to the Louvre, so I thought I'd be like intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Limpida Tampa. I love it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's forming. It's forming the line. Oh, there's a club. There's a club. One, two, three. Strong in. Gorge. Gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> That's what it feels like to be yeah, literally! I love it! Oh my god, is that new Rihanna? We're going to the Met Gala, <laughs> if you want to wear. It's new Rihanna and Emilia Liana. Oh my god! New Rihanna, Emilia Liana, new Rihanna. That's such a different song! Addiction with my mind. Guilty pleasure has a bit of taste in the end, my friend. Are you sure you want to fight? Ooh, has got that time. Hi, we're here at the Louvre. I didn't realize it was going to be shot off like this. It looks insane. Hello, excuse me. I need just one picture of you, yeah, okay? Sure. Sure. Just one more. And look at me, please. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. night. How are you feeling, guys? Like, I don't know. This is such a. I've fun. never had an experience yeah. like this before. Not me. is interested in patience. Oh, I'm a gazelle. Always running. Adrenaline in every blood cell. Some say I'm unwell, but I don't care. Oh, I swear Ooh. Ooh. What you do to me is beyond cruel You're not known to be cool, but 
Are you hungry yet? No, I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. Are you hungry? I just met Kelly Rowland, so my night is. <laughs> see, I don't have the guts to go up and speak to people. Like, I'll see someone famous, but I will never go up because I'm just so shy. Hello, I'm Kelly Rowland wearing a Nicholas Jabra. I'm Justine Sky and I'm wearing a Jacques Paul Gautier. Right, thank you guys. Bye, Bye. see you. So our um, photographer has left, so we have to do our own thing now. Hard life, hard life. Like I have to look the number up. We still have to be okay. I don't know. Like, and so this dress is actually quite hard. I'll hold it for you. So Dory, tell us what's the gas? There's lots of ski. That's so much ski. We've had so much ski tonight. Yeah, we can't really say much. We've had to sign an NDA. <laughs> Every celebrity in the world is on the We're trying to find our table currently. Yeah. Yeah. Where am I? I'm not next to Amelia. Oh, the menu sounds amazing. We're literally in the pyramid, guys, at the Louvre. How do you feel about today? It's been amazing. I can't believe by this event. I must have spent millions of pounds. It's so insane. It's also, the eyeshadow, can you close your eyes and show us? This is from the Louvre palette. I'm trying to see if I can see my eyeshadow. No, I don't like it. I did like the gold. But the mascara, look how insane my lashes look. Like it's just from the mascara. We're separated. Who has got the time? Not me. I'm a gazelle. Always running. Adrenaline and we'd like to say Some say I'm on wrong, but I don't care Oh, I swear, I don't care So guys, I am back reunited with True, who is currently editing the reel because it's supposed to go live tomorrow, so it's a very quick turnaround. Um, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I actually just can't believe, I can't get over being able to experience these opportunities. This was one of the most insane days ever, like a day that I will always remember. I was so happy that True actually was able to come into the event. He wasn't able to stay for dinner because it was a very like exclusive, intimate dinner, so you couldn't have like plus ones. Um, but he was able to come in and capture like the inside, which I didn't even expect him to be able to do. It. And it was so yeah, nice he got to experience. In, like you got to walk in with confidence, like you're there, you're supposed to be there. No, but you're also with the Lancome team who knew you and they would have been like, no, he's with us. And it was like, just so amazing. Like, I felt really good in my dress. I really love that dress. It got so many compliments. So many people asked me where that dress is from. And actually, in terms of like a gown, like for an event like that, I feel like the price point compared to anything else I was looking at was quite good. So I will link it down below. It was from Letta Porter. It's a very flattering dress. Like I felt really good in it. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I know I always say this as well, but I think I will rent this dress because it is one of those statement dresses. And for me, it's like I've worn it once and I won't be able to wear it again in a while because it's so memorable especially with like going to events and for content. So I think like it would make sense for me to rent it. This is just to say like, I'm so, so grateful every single one of you. Like YouTube is where I started this whole journey three years ago, my life was so different. And now I'm here like going to these amazing events surrounded by these people, like these actors, these actresses, these people who I've been watching from being a teenager to now being in the same room as them is just, it blows my mind every time but I am always forever grateful. So as we were leaving I got this goodie bag, it was Lancome Ex de Louvre so I thought I would unbox it because actually I don't know what's in here um, so we can unbox it together. Okay let's unbox it. It's quite heavy. Oh! Ooh. Oh wait it has a note. We were pleased to celebrate with you the launch of Lancome Ex de Louvre collaboration to mark the unprecedented partnership between two French powerhouses we were delighted to introduce you to our new limited edition collection inspired by some of the museum's most em em emblematic works of art. This book is nice. Insane. This is such a nice coffee table book. So wait, what is, why is there two? I think this is. Oh, that's like the like museum the, guide. Yeah. And then you have this, which is the Mona Lisa's hands. Oh, so let's, I'm going to put that back in there. That is such a lovely gift. I'm really happy with that. It's like a lucky dip. I don't know what I'm going to get out. Oh, the lipstick, 274 French tea. I think this is the lip, no, I didn't wear this color, I wore a different color. Oh, I think they gave all the lips, the, the lipstick shades. 
So these are the different shades. Let me show you the vlog what the lipstick looks like. So it has this Lancome X Louvre packaging and on the packaging is actually like the artwork and then open it like that and then you can see it's got this really gorgeous embossing on it. Oh yeah, this is the palette that I used today on my eyes. Yeah, so this is like the hero product. This is the hero like, this is the palette, it's really nice. Have I, I don't know if I've watched, oh basically this is what I used on my face today and this is the Genifique Youth Activation Concentrate. That is so lovely. I can't get over this. I'm so happy. Okay, we're Fade gonna... into the night. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. We've just checked into the new room. Very homey. Got a little desk there. This is the bathroom. This is Nuri doing work. And then this is the view. So we've got all of the, well, the outfit for the next show prepped. Steamed, everything's ready. I'm gonna wear my new calf. I'm actually so excited to wear this calf. The El Cipretti calf. Um, we're also prepping, we have a shoot we're doing with Michael Kors for TikTok that we're gonna shoot. Um, but first I need to pick up some bits, we're gonna go shopping. But yeah, I've decided to style this top with the skirt, guys, because I'm going to my first ever show for Paris Fashion Week and I'm gonna go all out. Like, I feel like this is a good look. Yeah, but also that's nice. And then with this bangle. The cuff, yeah. The question is, do I do a red lip? Because I'm gonna have my, I'm not gonna have my hair like this, I'm gonna have it like a bob. Um, do I do a red lip because otherwise it is all black? Yeah, I think you should. I have this bag, but I don't know, I, I feel like I don't want to just look too like black and silver. Unless you want to pair it with that. That's what I was thinking, because that's got silver With, with a red, it. red lip. That could be cool. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, rather than I trying to... I think when just... I put it on, we'll see. I'll buy silver is too on the nose. I'm going to wear this bag today anyway. I really love this bag. I feel like it just adds the perfect pop of colour. This is my outfit of the day. I've got... This top, which is from Zara, and then underneath, because it's quite shit, I'm wearing like this Skims triangle black bra. My Ray jeans, which <laughs> you guys are probably sick of, but it's just the comfiest jeans like to wear around, and it's really good for like a casual day like today when out and about, running errands, like I need to be comfy. My Sambas, again, like a really good pair of shoes, they're so comfy. And then I feel like this pop of red is really nice. I'm such a creature of habit, I have a wardrobe full of clothes. But like once I have an outfit I like, I'll literally wear that for weeks and weeks and then it will go like to a new thing. But I think that's like a trait of people with, um, is it ADHD? <laughs> like you become like fixated, not fixated, but you like just do one thing and then you'll go like. So basically the Ray jeans are my current like obsession that you will just see me wearing. And then maybe next month or in a couple of months there'll be something new. It's like the black maxi skirt, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to head off now to Paris. I'm in such a good mood, honestly. Yeah, like, to I Paris, like, we are in Paris. Did I say I'm gonna head off into Paris? <laughs> into I mean, the center. I'm gonna head, yeah, we're gonna head to the center, go for a walk, because yesterday was just like a whirlwind of events. We came off the Eurostar, had lunch, then we had to film the Lancome campaign, which by the way, if you haven't seen, go onto Instagram, check it out, and let me know if you're from YouTube watching it, because I, I always recognize some of your, like, your guys' names on my Instagram comments from YouTube, and I love it, because I feel like we have like this own secret bond. Um, but yeah. That reel we did, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. We got some pictures, and then had the dinner at Louvre. So I didn't feel like I was actually in Paris because I didn't get to see much. But I mean, I was at the Louvre, so kind of. I was just saying to Nuri how um, we've actually never been to Paris whilst the weather's nice. No, but we said that in the last Vista Village, the Paris Village vlog we did. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, okay. That was nice okay, weather. so this is the second time we've been in Paris. But that wasn't really Paris because that was just like we didn't have time to explore. Yeah, that was like outside of Paris. From, yeah, but now we're in. The La Marais. La Marais, yeah. Yeah, which is like, there's a lot of shops. And, and we've never really stayed in this location before, so it's nice to discover new locations. And also, this is like the perfect temperature. It's such nice, like walking weather. Yeah, very walkable. It's like mild, but like warm, but not too hot. Like, so you're not sweating. I, I love, love it. I love this outfit. Thank you. Well, I think I just love the bag. Yeah, I think the bag is the bag makes the outfit. <laughs> it does. These ones are like next on my wish list. They're insane. It's like that cherry red, the burgundy with the gold heel and the buckle. How much are they? It's cherry red, a new trend. Thing. Yeah, I love them. Can't go anywhere without a Jonah juice. I feel like they should start doing sponsorships. 
And then I've got a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, did you actually? It's that time of year. Mm -hmm. Autumn like. is coming. So good, there's so many pieces that I want to wear. Like, I love the incorporation of raffia because obviously it's the spring summer. Um, I love the cutout details. I feel like this is going to be a really hot brand. Like, they have insane pieces. So, yeah, really good. I really enjoyed it. So, guys, we're about to head out for dinner with some friends. It's actually quite hot in Paris at the moment, so I'm just wearing this Skims bodysuit, black ray jeans. My Elia flats, I actually love them so much and I've worn them so much more than I thought I actually would. And then the bag of the moment, I just love wearing this Gucci bag with every outfit. I feel like it just instantly makes an outfit look cooler. Um, but I've just gone for like comfy vibes because during fashion week, I feel like unless you're not, like if you're not going to a show or presentation, you just want to be in comfy outfits because the other outfits you wear are like, very extra yeah we're gonna walk it's actually a 15 minute walk and it's gonna be with some friends and i've not been to this place before so it'll be interesting it's louis vuitton day i'm going for louis vuitton press day which is so exciting this is my first ever proper thing I've done with Louis Vuitton which is literally a dream. Louis Vuitton is a dream brand so I'm so excited. It's for the presentation of their new fragrance and it's going to be like an intimate presentation talking through the fragrance so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to bring you guys along. They also loaned me a bag. I'm going to show you it. It's the LV twist and it has the pink twist. They also loaned me a pair of sunglasses. Let's put them on. They're very different to what I would usually wear. I think they're very cool. It also matches the bag really nicely. Very Barbie. So this is the full outfit. Black and pink. So guys, I just tagged along with Karen and Michael. Because Nuri left me downstairs. Hi. Hello, what are you wearing today, Karen? Oh my gosh, today, what am I in? Um, Let's walk and talk, because we're late. So this is, a, yeah, we are late. I'm wearing a, basically black and white. So um, I've got on this Jacquemus shirt, and I'm wearing this, um, I always forget the name, it's a Japanese designer for this brace harness, which I love. Very nice. And, uh, thank you. And I'm wearing it with my End of Story super wide leg trousers. Um, the Hermes Birkin in the size 25. Dream. And the right and the Dolce <laughs> glasses and that's my look. Nice. Thank you. Bonjour. Ah. Okay. Guys, look at oh my these yeah. helps, right? They keep falling yeah. in this. What have you got on? Oh no, yeah, you they're just you, like you need to wear these. I know. Look, I've got the sleds. You need to wear them. <laughs> look, who we bumped into. Oh god, into. and look, from, we're from Milan we're, to Paris. And notice how we're coordinating again. We're just so with in sync. The, why are we just doing this every single time? So, Tori. Tori? Tori! No, wow, that's a combination! That's a combination! Yeah, well, they would essentially say Truri. He used to call us Truri, like as our couple name. Truri. Oh, like our friend. Right, yeah, so right. So, Karen knows. Truri. So, I already know. But, um, yeah, so already got the outfit of the day, so everyone knows yeah. already what I'm wearing. But actually, Michael, for yep. the purposes of my vlog, oh, yes. let's say what's Nuri wearing. All right, Nuri. Oh, I've, gone, let's do I've a... gone very basic because. I wanted the bag to be the moment, and um, so I've got these trousers which are from Zara. But they're oh, wow, yeah, look, doing the but it's together. from the, it's from their like new collection. Um, I forgot the guy's name, so it's like 100% wool. I really like the fit of these. And then this top is from Cos, 
yeah. fine love. knit. I love, I love these kind of knits. Yeah, they just die. go with everything, yeah. Everything. And then Louis Vuitton bag, this is the LV twist. And then my sunglasses are also Louis Vuitton. I'm matching with the hard yeah. effect. And then my boots are also Zara. I love it, the high low. That's Literally, all about, yeah. It's all about the high low. Same exactly. thing, it's all about high low. Bangladesh. I, you know, Bangladesh is a small part, and not many no. people talk about Bangladesh or they use it. So it's so nice to hear like, a big brand like Louis Vuitton. Is, you know, and Louis Vuitton is sponsoring the uh, United. Look who's here! Hello. <laughs> First of all, this outfit. So I looked back and I just saw the back of her, and I was like, "Who is this woman wearing this outfit?" And you turned around. And I was like, "Oh." It's my friend. Yes. Because so last time I was in Paris, we bumped into each other on the oh, street. Oh, yeah, just randomly now. Yes. And then they gave the... me a great restaurant recommendation. It was wonderful. Yes. Oh, really? What was it? It was like a noodle place. Oh, I love it was that. good. You know, we love our food, so this is yeah. cute. This is with cute. the matching sunnies. Yes. 2019 collection, guys. Amazing. And it does fit things. Vlogging camera in here. What? A the lipstick. Camera. It will fit. Wow, that's so I'll show you the inside because people don't. No, no, like yeah, I need to see. People don't believe. Oh, because it opens like that. That's actually so clever. That's massive. Oh, yeah, it's I two love little that. pockets. What are you wearing being... today? <laughs> Hello, I'm wearing Day Way, a set that I got from Galleries Lafayette. The shoes are Saint Laurent. The bag is Louis Vuitton. The earrings as well. The sunglasses are Bottega. And the lip is Fenty MVP. We're the sunglasses girls. We're like Fenty yes. sunglasses. I know, exactly. And we're also. Oh, well, we should get I take the picture too. Oh, look, is it with yes. Here we go. Oh. So really, you, you have to come in with the folk. You have to go in with the. Oh, yeah, you, yes. you have to come in. You have to come in. That's why I'm making this job. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. To be surrounded yeah. with yeah. exceptional women. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited to eat at here, like this restaurant. The menu sounds amazing. I'm never actually been so excited to eat in Paris. Yeah, I think also this is our first time going to an African restaurant. We've had African food before, but like we've ordered it as takeaway. Yeah. Um, like look at places, but this is like the third time coming to a restaurant. I'm so excited. Okay, it looks so good. It's a Senegalese restaurant, isn't it? I think yeah. that's like the meat of the. But they do a lot of like Caribbean stuff. Um, it really looks really good. I feel like we, we should order like a lot of bits. Yeah, because I want to try everything on the menu, but that's not possible. We're also here with one of our friends who's going to join us, and it's Abby. She, we won her yesterday for dinner, um, so she's going to join us. And what's really that shiny, shiny new thing? I'm honestly so happy that I got this. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. We got okra. Plantain. Do people say? Do you say plantain or plantain? I say plant, plantain. Plantain. Sure. Okay. <laughs> this is a debate. Plantain or plantain? Comment down below what you say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then this is the codfish fritters. Hi guys. I'm back in London. But only for a couple of days, we're actually going back to Paris. The reason I'm back in London is because it's my mum's birthday. If you guys watched our last Paris Fashion Week vlog, you would have seen that I actually brought my mum and my family out last year because her birthday is in the middle of Fashion Week. But this year, we've just come here because it's easier than trying to bring my whole family to Paris. I'm feeling a little bit run down though. I think you can hear my voice as well that I'm feeling a bit run down. But I had the most amazing Fashion Week so far. I really enjoyed Milan and Paris. And I had so many moments where I was like, 
I think I even like told you guys like thank you so much I'm so grateful because I really feel so grateful for all the opportunities that I've like had this fashion week I feel like I've really managed to build relationships with brands that I've only dreamt of working with there's been so many moments where I felt really grateful and then YouTube recently reached out and they wanted to work together and they wanted me to talk about moments where I felt like I had made it and it really made me reflect because I think a lot of the times I set goals we set goals we're always working and we actually don't ever look back at what we've achieved because you're always kind of chasing a new goal setting new goals and it was actually such a nice time for me to reflect and i actually recommend you guys do with whatever career you're in is to maybe sometimes sit down and actually reflect on what you've achieved because there have been a couple of moments in my life so far where i've been like wow this is it i've made it i started youtube if you guys have been from the start i know some of you watching have i started youtube around three years ago now during lockdown out of boredom i just wanted to do something fun i created some videos i had no idea how successful it would be. Um, I was literally just creating videos for fun and then one of my videos did really well and then I just kept posting and my channel grew really quickly and my community grew really quickly. And then my other social platforms started getting followers because the community from YouTube were going on to there and it's just such a tight knit community that I love so much. That's one of my favorite things about YouTube. And it got to the point where I had brands reaching out to me and I could basically quit my job. It gave me the financial freedom and ability to leave my full-time job and just pursue content creation full-time. It even got to the point where True was able to leave his job and we now have a team of three. We've created our own business. We get to work with so many amazing brands and it all started from YouTube, which is why when I vlog and I go to these amazing trips, I'm always saying like, thank you to you guys because it's you guys watching that have allowed me to have these opportunities. Um, and I'm so, so grateful. So, sorry, I'm having to drink, my throat feels really sore. One thing I love about YouTube is the creative freedom you have. You can create videos that are an hour long or 10 minutes long. And sometimes I know you guys have seen where I have hour long vlogs or I'll do a quick 15 minute vlog. You have the freedom to post whatever length video you want. And they also now have shorts, which means you can post really short videos and like snippets of moments. I remember when True proposed to me last year and I really wanted to announce the proposal to you guys. We didn't have enough time to have the vlog edited fully to put it live but i couldn't wait to share the news so we created a short video of a little snippet of the proposal to kind of tease the engagement vlog that was coming so it's amazing you can create shorts if you want if you just want short format videos or you can do hour-long vlogs like i do sometimes it's just such a nice platform where they really give you that freedom to do what you want and for me one of the really big things is the community and I think that's my favourite thing about YouTube is having this community. There have been so many times where I have gone out, I've been in another country, I've been in Japan, France, wherever I've been, I've always bumped into at least one person who watches me on YouTube. I remember there was one point, I think it was last year when we went to Paris, maybe for Fashion Week or don't remember what, we always go to Paris. But I remember I was in a Zara, I was queuing up to buy something and this girl came up to me she's from france from paris and she came up to me and she was like oh my god like i watch you on youtube i discovered you like during lockdown and i've been going through like a really dark time in my life and your videos really helped me and she got emotional and i got really emotional and that, that moment really really touched me like I, I i feel like sometimes when you post a video you just post and you're not really thinking about the other side and like people are actually watching it and what it can do and she was just telling me how my videos gave her something to look forward to every week and really helped her during a dark time and like that moment really touched me and it's moments like that that really make me feel like I've made it like this is what means the most to me um and I'm yeah just so grateful for such a strong community I've met so many of you guys I love meeting you guys it seriously makes my day every time I've met someone it makes my entire day to actually see the people behind the screen so I see the people who I'm who watch me and this is another thing every time I meet one of you guys I literally say true this is why we have to be really good on YouTube we need to post really good content because it's actually the meeting you guys that pushes me and motivates me to continue doing what we're doing to keep elevating our content to keep things interesting because honestly you guys mean so much to me thank you so much guys again for being here always supporting always leaving lovely comments i read all of your comments and i know sometimes i can't get back to all of them but it really warms my heart to read such nice comments and there are so many usernames that i recognize like the regulars on my channel who like i look out for and then sometimes when i don't see my regulars comment i'm like oh i hope they're okay and then they'll comment again i'm like oh so nice to hear from you um but yeah that's one of my favorite things and i love youtube youtube really did change my life and it's been an amazing three years of doing it and i 
just can't wait for the rest of the years and to see what will come. The sun is coming out so much right now, I love it. It's got really cold, which is why I'm wearing my cashmere set. I'm actually gonna head off to Harrods. Harrods is another place where I actually meet a lot of you guys. Every time I'm in Harrods, I can never go looking not great because I will guarantee like meet one person in Harrods, which is always nice, but then I have to make sure I'm looking good. Um, so we're gonna head to Harrods because actually we hired chefs to come to cook for my mom's birthday today. We're doing it dinner at home and it's a surprise. The chef canceled yesterday. So we have to sort something out ourselves. I'm going to Harrods, buy some ingredients, also get her a gift and then head home and start doing a setup. And we'll vlog little snippets for you guys and bring you guys to Harrods. So yeah, this is nice. It's like, I feel like all the Paris Fashion Week vlogs will always have a little segment of my mum's birthday just because her birthday is in the middle of it all. But I hope you guys enjoy that. And yeah, let's go to Harrods. Hi guys, it has been, feels like ages since I last spoke with you. So I think the last thing I vlogged was my mum's birthday, which was really nice. But if you guys remember when I was at home, I was saying how I was feeling a little bit run down. It basically escalated to me being really ill. I got the flu, I had a really high fever. Um, I kept getting like really hot and then really cold. I basically couldn't leave bed. My whole body was so weak, which meant that we didn't end up going to Paris. And I was so gutted about that because this part of the Paris trip would have been the more exciting presentations and showrooms and fashion things that I was going to go to. One of them being the Louis Vuitton Risi, which I was so gutted to miss. This would have been my first Louis Vuitton Risi. I watched the show live at home and I really loved the show. So I was so gutted that I wouldn't be able to go and see the collection up close because I was really looking forward to that. And there were a couple of other presentations that I actually would have really love to go to and yeah like that part of the paris trip was going to be the more like fashion week stuff but i was so ill and um, we couldn't make it so it's sad but then also i don't know if you guys have seen there's a whole like bed bug problem in paris and it maybe worked out like for good timing and maybe this is the reason i got ill was to avoid that because all i've been seeing is everyone getting bed bug bites in um paris and obviously they can actually be carried over to the uk so imagine going there being hit by the bed bug situation and bringing it back to the UK, that would have been very stressful. So maybe everything happens for a reason and it's okay. But I thought I would do a quick call because I actually recently picked up some stuff, not recently, these are a mixture of things that I've picked up over the last few months for like fashion week or pieces that I had on my wish list that I got. So I wanted to show you guys and end this vlog with a little luxury haul. So I'm gonna start off with this piece. My first piece is from Tiffany & Co. This was on my wishlist video. I did a 2023 wishlist video and this was on it. So if you watch that video, you will know what it is. I've actually already worn it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. It is a Tiffany & Co. Elsa Peretti bone cuff, which has been on my wishlist from the start of the year. It's actually a piece that I always wanted. For those of you who don't know, I think I've said before that I used to work at Tiffany & Co. It was my first job after university. I was a sales associate at Tiffany & Co. And I was always in love with the Elsa Peretti collection. And at that time when I was working there, it was a very underrated collection. Like 
they didn't really we didn't really have the bone cuffs and things like that on display because not many people would come in asking for it it was kind of like if you know you know like the people who came in and said do you have the Elsa Peretti bone cuff we were like okay you know whereas I feel, feel like now it's become such a popular thing and like it's great because it is such a beautiful iconic piece so it is this cuff that you put on it's supposed to like mimic your bone actually I think I put that the wrong way so it's a bone cuff so it's supposed to like mimic what your bone would be like um i can't remember the size that i got in this because it comes in a small medium and large and it has to fit tight because it otherwise it will come off but i really really love this piece so much originally on my wish list was the gold cuff but i think that's around twenty thousand pounds now which is crazy because i eventually want to have both like I, I love the look of two bone cuffs on the arm but yeah this is a very special piece for me because it's a piece i wanted for so long I would look at it when I was working at Tiffany and now I have it and actually they're really hard to get a hold of now because they've become really popular um, I found that a lot of places actually don't have many in stock I got this from Heathrow Terminal 5 on the way to Milan and I was just chuffed that they had my size and I love it so much I think it just adds a lot to an outfit so I got the medium bone cuff because the bone cuff also comes in different sizes so like the actual size of the cuff is different not the size of your arm if you know what i mean so this is the left bone cuff in the medium size in a medium size if that makes sense and then next up from bottega we have this bag which i think this is going to be a really popular bag and it already is because it's sold out currently this is the bottega andiano um leather like top handle long clutch bag this reminds me so much of the kelly cut obviously a fraction of the price this is under two thousand pounds which i think is priced so well for such a beautiful intricate leather clutch bag i love this whole top handle situation it's so chic i also feel like this is a very wearable bag for day and evening which i love about that and you can just hold it like this the clutch like even with this navy outfit it just looks so beautiful you guys know i'm obsessed with bottega i love this intrusiato um, style this brown color is the perfect color for autumn i'm so excited to start wearing this it has this this is the opening so it has this like gold hardware you pull out and then you open the bag like so and this is what the inside looks like so it has a pocket oh it's like it's got card slots that's so good so you don't need to bring like a card holder or your wallet with you because it has that slot this is just such a beautiful bag i think i will get a lot of wear out of this and i actually think i prefer this to the Kelly cut I think it's just so chic batteries flashing so I'm gonna try and be quick now some sunglasses from Gucci again if you watch the Milan vlog you would have seen these are a new pair of sunglasses they're from Gucci and they're in this oval style I really love my oval style sunglasses um, I wear the Lespecs one so much and I really like the detail of the Gucci with the Gigi on the side so I thought I would pick these up and I have worn them a lot so they've proven to be a good purchase and then from Chanel, these are the new glasses from their collection. Look at the packaging. So beautiful. The case is stunning. I love this little detail here. And then this is what they look like. So they're inspired by the Camellia. The whole collection was inspired by the Camellia. So you can see there's this like Camellia design. And then you have the CCs at the front, which is so unique because normally you would have CCs on the side. Yeah, it has Chanel written on the side. And this is what they look like on. I posted an Instagram picture in these so you can see what they look like on Instagram. It's that oval style that I'm obsessed with, but it has that twist with that camellia shape here. And then the CCs at the front, which I think is so fun. And also because my hair's in a bob, you don't really get to see the side of the sunglasses that much. I love them so much. I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these because they are just in that classic style and I really really love this Chanel detail okay then the lastly Jimmy Choo have just released their new collection and they very kindly sent me these new pieces so first up are these stunning heels you guys know red is the hottest color of the season I've really been embracing the color red so we have these red mules and they have this gold detail on the buckle and it says Jimmy Choo on it with this like brushed gold finish hardware. The heel height is a really nice heel height and I also find that Jimmy Choo heels to be so comfortable, one of the most comfortable heel brands. Um, so I really love these and again, oh my God, with navy, 
this with like a pair of jeans it will really dress up a look and then i have the matching bag to go with it so it has that same gold hardware plaque here with the jimmy choo logo to open it you just push this bit down and then you can open it and then inside the bag looks like that it's this really nice like sturdy leather it comes with a chain and it also comes with this long strap which is adjustable so you can wear it crossbody but you guys know i don't really wear bags crossbody i will most likely wear it with the chain which is stunning oh my god could you wear it as a necklace maybe i could wear it as a choker that's quite cool this is what it looks like with the chain oh how nice is this oh i love it does it fit under the shoulder okay this cardigan is not a good cardigan to try it with because this cardigan is very bulky but this is so nice i love it this is definitely how i'll be wearing it the most with the um the gold chain that is the end of the haul those are just some recent accessories that i've added to my collection i think i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one